Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be making the backside of this page. We did this page in the last video um, where it has the two flips and then the banner uh, flags. So we're gonna be doing the backside of this. Um, we are going to be making the, the envelope pocket page and I'm gonna make it the way it's, it was intended to be made, the way I designed it to be used. Um, so you'll need page 12 and 13 and we're not gonna use this part. Oh. Uh, my grandpappy's here, and my big dog Sophie and my grandpappy argue sometimes. <laughs> um, anyway, so I apologize for that. And then we're going to be using page 14 and 15. These are the two inserts for the envelope pocket page. So I'm going to show you how to use this the way I had designed it to be used. Let me show you one of the other pages that I did using the same um envelope pocket page here's one right here so i used it as a flip page right so that's uh the thing this bleh, <laughs> that's the same exact thing um and then i think i might have used the pocket back here yeah and then i just used the part two as a pocket inside here and did i use it again i don't remember if i used it again did i use it in this page no i don't think i did so both of these pages, um, I've already got videos up for this. I will link the video playlist for these um, that starts with the first everlasting video and moves its way forward or moves its way down. I don't know. It's in order. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and I'll also link the printable templates below in my Etsy shop. So, um, so anyway, so we've got the main base, option A, already put together, and we did this page in the last video, and we're gonna use one of the bows from the pocket page that we did, that we used, we printed off in the last video. So I'll have to look at the page number. Let me just look before I forget. It is page, this bow is on page eight, so this is bow number four, I think. Let me double check. I wanna be sure before I tell you. Yeah, this is bow number four. So this is the smallest bow in the group. So then we're gonna be using this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything out, uh, the two inserts and the part one and the part two. I'm not gonna use this part and we're not gonna use the banner on this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything out and then I'll be right back. Okay, I forgot to mention a couple things. Um, I do print this onto 65 pound weight white cardstock that I get at the office supply store. And the, I print it in grayscale versus um, the natural color that it actually comes in because I thought it went better with this paper line. So um, I forgot to tell you that and I also forgot to tell you that there is a secret code in this video. So um, if you're familiar with my secret codes, they are very hard to find. They're in the video somewhere for a couple minutes and that's it. Um, very, very hard to find, but it is 50% off of everything in my shop and it's good from midnight to midnight, the day this video um, is public, goes public. So um, the video will go public at midnight and then by the end of the day, 24 hours you know, later, the coupon code will no longer be active. So if you want to be sure you don't miss out on um, that one day special deal, if you can find the uh, special secret coupon code, um, when you subscribe to my channel, if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, then you will be notified when I upload. So um, that way you won't miss out um, on this super special secret code that pops up somewhere in my video that's hard to find. <laughs> um, another side note is please do not share that code. Do, do not put it on any, um, any of the comments. Do not put it in Facebook. Do not put it anywhere. Um, Cause if you do end up sharing it somewhere, then I will have to deactivate the code. Um, it's just meant to be fun and um, like a little seek and find, you know, like a where's Waldo kind of thing. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, so do keep an eye out for that secret code. It will pop up at some time and it'll be up for a couple minutes. So uh, again, I'll leave all of that info in the description box below. Not every video has one. So if it, um, if it has one, I'll say it. So, all right, moving on. This is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard. It's called Trim and Score, and that's what I'm using as my scoreboard currently. 
and I will link any and everything I use that I can find in the description box below. So I've got these two pieces cut out and ready to go. So now what I need to do is I need to um, score all of these lines. So all three lines. Oh, I don't, I almost always do that. I don't know what is wrong with me. This is just a Martha Stewart, a stylist. Um, I like that it's the smallest one that's not pointy. I like it, it's super accurate. I wanted to point out too, one of these sheets, it might be both, I printed them out again so that I could show you. Let me find them. I just had them. Um, you won't see two of the tab lines, like on this one, for example. I needed all the room I could get, so you won't see the two lines on either side of here, but you need to leave them on. Um, and the same with this one. You won't see those two lines, but again, you need to leave them on. So some of the pages are like that. My templates aren't usually like this, but I needed that extra space. So um, I need to try to point that out as often as possible. I don't want people to get confused. All right, so I'm just gonna continue to score here. And then I'm gonna score this line right here. Okay, so the way this is going to go is all of these tabs are going to be folded back like this. And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and fold it the way that I scored it. Um, and, then, <clears throat> and then I'm going to flip it over because it's actually going to go this way. So I'm going to go ahead and prep for that. Okay. I am gonna go ahead and get these inked up real quick and I'm gonna put tape on all of the tabs, all three tabs on this one and all three tabs on that one. I have my ink that I'm gonna be using, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Ground Espresso. And I'm gonna be using a blending tool. And then the tape I'm gonna use is the Suquane Score Tape. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I've got everything inked up and scored, inked where it needs to be, and then I put the score tape on all three tabs, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this one down to the base. Okay, so um, this one, it doesn't matter yet which one's the um, spine and which one is the side pocket space. So. I'm just going to try to keep it to where it's upside or right side up. Does that make sense? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take part one, you want to flip it over, and you want to tack, oops, wrong one. You want to tack the, the bottom piece down to the side pieces like that. Just like that. And this will fit, um, let me go ahead and burnish a little bit. This will fit perfectly onto the main base. So, remove the backing. Like that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue stick. Like that. And then, I'm going to make sure I got the bottom. I'm just going to line it up at the bottom here, the bottom of my page. Why do I do the glue stick? It just gives me a minute. So it doesn't attach, it doesn't grab the paper immediately. It gives me a minute to move it around. Okay, let me go ahead and burnish that down. Okay, so see that what that does is that now creates a pocket back here, right? So then we're going to add the envelope pocket part two. I have already um, tacked the bottom down. to the sides. I'm going to put a little bit of glue stick. Oh, I see a piece of tape sticking out there. Okay. Alright, so then I am going to attach this down on top of that part. Just 
like that. Same thing. I'm going to match it up best I can. Just like that. All right. So now we have another pocket right there. And that's the insert that goes into that pocket, by the way. So it looks like that, right? So we've got pocket, flap, pocket, okay? So I am going to do a magnet closure. Um, and uh, let's see, how am, I wanting, how am I wanting to do this? This is gonna be matted, but this is not. This is gonna be matted. So, I might use, okay, so these are the magnets I've been using this whole series. I got them at Home Depot or something. Um, and then there's washers. I bought these little washers. You can't see because you can't see on the camera. Bought these little washers. It's just a package of um, washers. I'm not, I'm not even sure what size they are, but there's 100 pieces in here. And it was like a couple bucks. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use a washer and a magnet. So I just got to decide where I want my magnet to be. I think I'll put my magnet on the, the lid there. So again, with my magnets, I would normally use my basic gray, but these were recommended to me. And um, in a pinch, if you can't get them, if they don't come fast enough, because you have to order basic gray magnets, if they don't come fast enough, you could use these. You could just go to the hardware store and they're pretty reasonable. So, so all right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna put the magnet here and the washer here. Yep. So I'm just gonna, I wonder, it doesn't really matter where it goes. I think I'll just put it right there. So I'm going to use my Sequin score tape. This is a quarter of an inch. And we'll stick it on the magnet. Like that. And since the other parts are going to be matted, it's, it's, you know, we don't have to plan very much with this. So I'm going to stick it, I'm going to stick it right there. Maybe even a little higher, right there. And then, I'm gonna, there we go. So I'm gonna stick a piece of tape on the washer. Sorry, I keep scooting towards myself. And then I'm just gonna push it down like that. And that should be perfect. It should hold it pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to find some, um, some of my pattern paper. I'm gonna pick some pattern paper out and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the paper line that I'm using. It's Sand and Sea by 49 and Market. And remember again, I'm downplaying my whole um, beachy ocean theme here. Um, Cause I really like the colors, but I didn't really want it to be an, a themed you know, album. So I've done pretty good so far. So I'm going to try to keep that up. So I've picked out a couple pages and I think I can see all of the, it's really pretty. It's really nice paper. This is my first experience with it. So I really like it. So I'm thinking I'll put this one down there like that. And then this one up here. And then I'm going to, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to, I might use a scrap for up here. We'll see. So that's what I'm thinking. So let me get my templates, my traceable templates out. So I will need, I don't need this part. I don't need the bigger part of part one, but I do need this part. And then I need part two. So that's on page 34 and this one's on page 33. So I'm going to trace this one out first, I think. What's on the back side of that? I'm gonna trace this one out. Um, okay. So we're just gonna lay it on there and I'm just gonna use a pencil, trace it out. Well. And then I'm also gonna be doing a bow too, so I need to make sure I look at paper for that as well. So there's part two traced out, and then part one, 
Maybe I'll do it down here. So this is how the template's printed out. Remember I said in previous videos that you need to pay attention to which way you're going to be um, matting. So this is going to be going this way. So I need to flip it upside down. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to go, I'm going to go over here and try to get rid of that seahorse that's on the back. Even though, uh, you can hear my son every once in a while, I swear. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to trace this out. And then I'm going to cut them out and ink them up. And then we'll come back. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the back side of this red. I think I'm going to put it in the top pocket there. So I got the mat for the main base out. And I think I'm going to, um, I don't need that much, so I'm just going to trace out that much. And I'm hoping that's right. So I'm going to double check it here. And then I'll go ink everything up. Look, you can't even see that. So maybe the bow, I'll do the bow. I'll do the mats for the bow. Let's go ahead and do that before I get the ink out. Let me put this mat back up. So what did I say page that was on? That is on page eight. So the mats for the bow is on page 40. But you know, since I've made my workbook, they're all on the same page. Well, let me grab both of them. Okay, so I think I will trace this one out and then the other one right below it. Just like this. I'm not tracing very well today. Oh well. Alright, so I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to ink everything up and then I'll be right back. Alright, everything's inked, everything's ready to go. But the first thing I want to do before we do anything else is I want to go ahead and glue the mats to the bow because I, it needs a little time to dry before we can manipulate it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick and set it aside. It looks so weird. It looks like eyes or something or squinty eyes when you initially <laughs> put it together. But I think it's pretty cool. So it's pretty cool. All right, let me put this one on here. Oops, upside down. Okay, so that way these can dry before I start manipulating anything with them. Okay, so I'm gonna set those aside. So, okay, so now I've got this right here. I don't want it. I don't want that, so I'm going to get one of those pages out that I've done on the other previous pages. Um, I'm going to ink this raw edge here with the same ink, and I'm going to go across the bottom with it. And then I think I'm going to, um, to wrap some string around it. So let me glue this first, and then we'll talk about the string. I should have thought about it. I wouldn't have inked that whole thing, but oh well. All right, so I'm just going to eyeball here how far I might want to go up. Maybe I'll lift it up and look. A little bit down, maybe. I oh, better go a little bit up. So you don't really know what that little dot is right there, that little thing right there. All right. 
So I'm going to trim this out. So this is this has been my trick to get get rid of all that ocean beachy stuff. So this is just from a book, uh, not a book, but like a journal from a long, 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 long time ago. And I don't know why I even have it or what I bought it for, but I have it. So I found it, and I think it looks good with it. All right, now I'm going to ink these edges real quick, and then I think. Oops, wrong thing. I think I'm going to take some of this Baker's twine that I used back here on the banner. You can hardly see it, but I'm going to use some of that uh, and wrap it around here just to see what it looks like. Let me get a piece of tape first. Um, I want it ready so that I could tape it down when I'm done. So I was thinking I would just wrap it Let me do it this way. So I could just wrap it around. One, two, and maybe three times. Isn't Baker's twine just so cool? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> All right, so then I'm just going to tape it down like this. And I hope I got it. I mean, I'm going to glue it down to, to the you know, pocket, but I want to make sure it's secure. Yeah, that looks cute. I like that. I like that. So we could do this. So that'll go there, like that, right? That's cute. And then that will be there. And then that's going to be in there. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and get some glue, get these glued down, and then we'll do the bow. Oh, I keep putting my lid on. don't know why. Did I already say this is Fabri-Tac by Beacon? I'm pretty, I probably did, didn't I? Maybe not. This is Fabri-Tac by Beacon. And we'll go ahead and glue this sucker down. Cover up that magnet real quick. All right, let me go ahead and glue this down. I almost forgot about it. Look at this too. Okay, let's glue this sucker down. Isn't this pretty? I love the look of this paper. It's really pretty. This is, like I said, my first time using, I didn't even trim that out very good, but you know what? It looks good, so I don't care. This is my first time using 49 and Market. Well, this whole album is my first time using 49 and Market. I really like it. I wish I could find more of it, but anyway. All right. Got a little bit of seepage. All right, let's glue this one down and then we'll do the bow. All right. See anything coming out? All right. Slide this back there. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how shaky I was? Okay, that looks so nice. So nice. Look at that. That looks so good. I like it. Let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put the insert in here. Still haven't, haven't um, matted any of my inserts yet, but I think I'm going to have to. I really do because they're so flimsy because of the cardstock that I chose. So I think I'm going to have to mat them. And so that one goes back there like that. See, and you can put as many as you want. You don't just have to do... Uh, one. I'm going to put my lid on there. All right, so let's do the bow real quick. All right, so we want to take the bow. There's two pieces. So then you want to take this one and you just want to start bending it with a bone folder. This is a Martha Stewart bone folder. You just want to start manipulating it so that it'll start to bend like that. See, oops, 
I didn't take my time. Okay. So then what you want to do is you want to take some score tape. I'm just going to take a little bit of this quarter of an inch score tape. I'm going to put it right there in the middle, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and add a strip right here, too, just like that. So then you want to take the tape off the backing, off the, uh, the bow part here. So you want to kind of bend these ends the other way, the opposite direction. You just, you know, um, shaped the paper because you want it to go flat onto that score tape right in the middle there. It's so cute. Okay, and I'm going to squeeze it. And so then you have something that looks like this. Right? Isn't that cute? Look at that. It's adorable. Okay. So then I'm going to take the backing off of this ribbon part here. And I'm just going to center this well, right over top, like this. I'll try to get it in the center. Right? So look. Cute. I'm totally loving these bows. I just think they're adorable. And then I'm going to flip these little ends up. that. So I'm going to go ahead and tape it down before I put the gemstone on there. Um, that way I can leave it flat for a minute. So I'm just going to grab my sequin tape, quarter of an inch, put it on the back there. Take off the backing. Like that. Now I just need to decide where I want to put it. Do I want it down here in the end? No. Do I want it right here? Maybe, um, how about right there? You can still kind of see the point, this point right here. Yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to squish it down. I'm going to go ahead and take my bone folder and stick it in there and push. Okay, so I'm going to have to flatten this just a little bit. It's very kind of poofy. Did I get it on there crooked? Nah. So we got that so far. Might be a little crooked. Anyway. All right, so now I'm going to put a gemstone on here. These are the ones I've been using. This is uh, In Bloom by Bead Design. 100 pieces, 8 millimeter size. I probably got it 50% off or 40% off, like at Hobby Lobby or something. These are just flat back little crystals. I like them because they look like they're multifaceted. Um, little crystals. There's just a whole bunch of little tiny, I don't know, they're cute. They're really pretty. They're my favorite. I say that a lot. Everything's my favorite. Well, I have favorites, okay? Can't help myself. Alright, so I'm going to put a little dot of, of glue right here just to hold that gem down. Oh, I did get me another pair of these. Um, these are EK Success Tools tweezers. Let me see if if I can pick them up, pick it up. <laughs> How about if I try it like this? <laughs> I don't have much success with these types of things. Oh, look, I got it. Yay! Look, I see I still, I just, I want to squeeze to let go when you're not supposed to. Okay. So I didn't really need my tweezers, but I bought them and I used them. And I wanted to use them. So I might not have enough glue on there. Did it dry already? Surely not. I feel like it, um, it might have. I don't know. So that's what we got. That's our finished backside of this page. So I'm going to let that dry a minute and then I'll come right back. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty easy, right? This is the envelope pocket page that is on page uh, 12 and 13. This is how it was intended to be used to stick it down to the page. So you have a pocket back here, 
and then you have a pocket here. So this is how I designed it to be used, and I think that it's adorable. And the bows, I just can't get enough of them. Y'all are starting to think I'm bow crazy, <laughs> but that's okay, because I am. Um, I still haven't decided about matting. I'm, I'm gonna have to mat them, I just don't know with what. And I haven't decided about my side pocket uh, page inserts, uh, what they're gonna be yet, so I haven't printed those off yet. But this, this is the third page, so there's another bow. <laughs> um, so this is the third page that we got going on so far, and I think for this album I'll make one more page, um, and it'll be a little bit different. So I'm pretty excited about it. So did you find the secret code, the secret coupon code? It's in there somewhere, and it's there for two minutes. And remember, it's only good for a 24-hour period from midnight to midnight on the day this video goes public. So if you want to be notified when my videos get uploaded, then you need to hit the little bell button after you subscribe to my channel. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that little button right there. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about um, how this is working out so far, how it's, how, how it's turning out, and if you like it. And I will link everything in the description bar below. And don't forget to check out these other uh, videos that you see here on the screen. And I'll see you next time. Bye.